When I asked my German car dealer what made their car so superior, she might mention Vidya. That's how I found out about a dozen or so years ago when the head of Ali North America tipped me off about NVIDIA's non-gaming greatness on a day when the Nasdaq exploded higher, surging 1.96% as the Dow gained 96 points and the S&P rallied 1.18%. For years, very few people knew Jensen Wang's name. The CEO of NVIDIA was seen as someone who made the best chips for video games, if he was seen at all. We must consider the impact this man has on the market because, as far as I can recall, no other executive has had this much influence over U.S. stocks. It's a fitting homage considering that, as of right now, NVIDIA's market capitalization has surpassed Apple's, coming in just shy of the 3 0 one, two, trillion mark for the latter. Steve Jobs, the iPhone, Microsoft, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, nothing like Jensen at all. How has the CEO of NVIDIA produced a bigger splash than even Steve Jobs with Bill Gates? Mark Zuckerberg of Amazon, Facebook, and Meta are individuals who directly transform the world. They're amazing men. Look, Jensen is a young, brilliant immigrant from America who fought his way up the Denny's ladder to become a dishwasher. He also earned degrees and started a business that nearly failed, but Annie Grove fired him for standing up to Intel even though the company's highest officials believed Jensen's lightning-fast processors were the future. Three trillion dollars is NVIDIA's market cap. With semiconductors that have sparked an industrial revolution, Intel is worth an impressive $131 billion. Recently, NVIDIA's market value surpassed three trillion dollars, making the chip producer the second most valuable business in the world, surpassing Apple, the developer of the iPhone. This continued an astoundingly quick rise that began last year, supported by investors who believed NVIDIA would emerge as the biggest beneficiary from a wave of investments in A&I, the home of CNBC's mad money. Jim Cramer remains optimistic about NVIDIA and asserts that Jensen Huang's influence on the stock market as a whole is indisputable, because NVIDIA can propel other stocks higher when they soar. However, Cramer is not the only one betting big on the company. Mizuho, a major Japanese bank, recently raised its price target on NVIDIA stock, which we will discuss in today's video along with where investors should purchase NVIDIA stock following the split. But before we do that, if you want to stay up to date on the most recent developments from NVIDIA and the stock market, you may subscribe to our channel to ensure you don't miss any changes. Returning to the video for today, let's discuss NVIDIA once more. You should be grinning broadly because you own it. Does this make complete sense to you, or does it simply defy logic? No, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but reaching $3 trillion on an intrinsic value basis is pretty difficult. Having said that, if you were creating the ideal momentum company from scratch, NVIDIA would be it, and it has an amazing story. In the medium term, a CEO who maintains focus and avoids distractions can meet objectives. I believe you're witnessing one of the greatest momentum plays in history unfold before you because of the way they've built up the game and the market that enters the picture. If experts are consulted, I believe the best word to describe how you would view this stock's value at. This point is re-evaluating. If you previously believed the stock was overpriced, what do you think now? And are you viewing it differently? Oh well, every time an earnings report is released, you have to review your basic narrative. I believe that my basic story has expanded from a year ago, in part due to NVIDIA's achievements, and in part to the potential that artificial intelligence is demonstrating in the broader economy and market. I recently heard about HP Enterprises reporting higher earnings due to AI, and I think that this trend is continuing with the major tech companies. I believe that AI is starting to permeate beyond the architecture part of the business and into services, products, and other software. I also believe that this will have a ripple effect on shops and other companies. Misuho maintained its buy rating on NVIDIA stock and increased its price target from $1,180 to $1,275. This was prior to the stock split, and even though the price of the stock has since dropped significantly, this move by Mizuho indicates that many prominent Wall Street figures continue to anticipate the company will see rapid growth.
This is especially true as NVIDIA gears up to introduce its next-generation Blackwell GPUs this year, which will supersede the recently revealed Rubin platform in 2026. NVIDIA will be able to hold on to its position in the enormous AI chip market, which is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 38.16% to reach $372 billion in 2032, thanks to this cycle of introducing new chips annually. Notably, between 70% and 95% of the market share for AI chips is held by NVIDIA's AI accelerators. Thus, if it can keep up this pace, it will continue to generate hundreds of billions of dollars in sales over the next few years, indicating that the company has a very bright future. Considering all of this, is it now appropriate to purchase NVIDIA stock following the stock split? Let's see what we lately learned. Jim Cramer stated that NVIDIA may surpass Microsoft as the largest corporation in the world, and we wholeheartedly concur. Microsoft was established about half a century ago, and the firm transformed personal computing with its Windows operating system. Over time, Microsoft has transformed from a PC firm to one that operates in several different industries, helping to open up new growth opportunities and contributing to the company's rising valuation. As a result, Microsoft has become one of the computer industry's most diversified businesses. Comparatively speaking, NVIDIA is a much younger company than Microsoft, but even though it began as a manufacturer of gaming GPUs, it soon expanded into much more. For example, NVIDIA is now engaged in robotics, enterprise software, autonomous driving, and more. It also makes significant investments in AI and tech startups. As a result, we can say that NVIDIA has followed a path to the trillion-dollar club that is remarkably similar to Microsoft's. However, has NVIDIA overtaken the largest company in the world? Let's compare the two to find out. NVIDIA dropped today in aid news that the DOJ and FTC plan to launch antitrust investigations into the company. These developments coincide with NVIDIA's surpassing of $3 trillion in market capitalization yesterday and ahead of the company's 10 for 1 forward stock split, which is set to take effect tomorrow after the close, and Microsoft and OpenAI looking at their supremacy in the artificial intelligence business. Ben Reitz's from Melius Research discussed this with us, and while we saw some selling and some pressure on the stock today, we also saw an incredible run-up following earnings last month. When asked what his initial thoughts were on these antitrust headlines and reports, specifically whether there is any risk or cause for concern with the stock, given its current trading levels, he said, I'm still trying to wrap my head around this, and I trust thing you know these are hard for an analyst to find out on. But I'm just wondering what they're thinking here, we'll just have to wait and see. But I believe that by concentrating on the fundamentals, we'll be in a good place. We have to deal with Google and Apple as well as Microsoft and NVIDIA, which are all under my coverage. They must be upset with NVIDIA for realizing the world was headed in this direction before anyone else and creating the best chips and changing the world. I'm not really sure what NVIDIA can really say because, as you know, you might have to blame some of your rivals for simply failing to recognize the GPU market, as Jensen did several decades ago. Anyway, let's just concentrate on the fundamentals. When comparing the market caps of Microsoft and NVIDIA, the most important factor to consider is the rate of growth. If NVIDIA maintains its current growth rate, it should easily surpass Microsoft as the most valuable company in the world, having gained over $1 trillion in market capitalization just this year. The NASDAQ 100 has increased due in large part to NVIDIA's incredible 121% gains in 2024, even though Microsoft has gained about $360 billion. The stock's remarkable rally appears to be here to stay, as many Wall Street analysts have raised their earnings expectations for the chipmaker in the wake of its most recent quarterly report. If you watched the entire video, thank you. It takes a lot of work and time to create these, so if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Your support will greatly aid in our growth. Indeed, we firmly believe that this is the next big thing. It's the closest thing yet. This is the AI version of what they're doing. They're creating a solution that's turnkey to allow you to monetize AI, and hopefully it's ahead of us. 
We just feel that if you believe in AI, you believe it will be monetized by the world's largest custom companies and then filter down this is the way to play it. We were fortunate enough to be analysts covering Apple and witnessing them create an ecosystem where they basically did a full stack solution and allowed you to monetize a whole app ecosystem. We have been quite vocal about the $45 price point and the need for earnings power to be shown within an investable time frame. Even at the current value, that number is far less than 30 times. So throughout the last 30 days, we have had some faith Jensen here in the group. There are two main reasons why Wall Street analysts expect Nvidia to deliver stronger earnings. First, the company has been able to maintain its stranglehold over the AI chip market as it ended 2023 with a 94% share of the AI server market. 47 analysts have increased their earnings per share estimate for NVIDIA for the fiscal year 2025, while four analysts had already increased their estimate for the fiscal year 2026. Due to this, its revenue from sales of data center chips decreased by an astounding 427% year over year in the first quarter of fiscal 2025 to a record $22.6 billion. In contrast, NVIDIA's primary rivals, AMD and Intel, reported data center revenue of $2.3 billion and $3 billion. Respectively, in the first quarter of 2024, demonstrating just how much of a lead NVIDIA has in this market. What's even better is that NVIDIA can continue to maintain its dominance in the AI chip market, even with the introduction of a new generation of chips that could close the gap it currently holds over competitors. Regarding the Hopper architecture, the business also stated that it will struggle to match the demand for its forthcoming Blackwell processors until 2025. This suggests that the company's lead in AI is here to stay and should enable it to produce more AI graphics cards. According to Raymond James, the second reason analysts are concerned about NVIDIA's growing profit margin is the company's enormous pricing power in AI chips. NVIDIA may have to spend $6,000 to produce a single Blackwell B200 accelerator. But since each processor is anticipated to sell for between $30,000 and $440,000, the company stands to profit handsomely from its new chips given the markets. Phenomenal growth, the market for AI chips is expected to be very profitable for NVIDIA due to the previously mentioned factors. As a result, there is a good chance that this AI stock will continue to rise after the impressive gains it has already recorded in 2024. What do you think about NVIDIA stock? Is it worth the money right now? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. If you'd like to know what companies like NVIDIA have been up to lately, please let us know. In conclusion, the narrative of Never Sell NVIDIA encapsulates a journey through one of the most dynamic and influential companies in the tech industry. NVIDIA's pioneering advancements in GPU technology, AI, and data science have not only revolutionized gaming, but have also established a strong foothold in various high-growth sectors, including autonomous vehicles, healthcare, and finance. The company's relentless innovation and strategic positioning make it a cornerstone for any forward-thinking investment. Portfolio As we've explored, NVIDIA's robust financial performance, coupled with its visionary leadership under Jensen Huang, underscores a trajectory of sustained growth and adaptability, the demand for high-performance computing and AI solutions continues to surge, and NVIDIA is at the forefront of meeting these needs with groundbreaking products like the RTX series and the A100 Tensor Core GPUs. Their continuous investment in R&D and strategic acquisitions, such as Mellanox and ARM, pending regulatory approval, further solidify their market dominance and future growth potential. NVIDIA's involvement in the burgeoning metaverse and their omniverse platform signifies their readiness to capitalize on emerging trends that could define the next decade. The potential for exponential growth in these areas presents an exciting horizon for long-term investors. NVIDIA's extensive ecosystem, which seamlessly integrates hardware and software solutions, provides a competitive edge that is hard to match. However, investing is a long-term game, and while NVIDIA's prospects are exceptionally bright, it's crucial to stay informed and adaptable. Markets can be volatile, and diversification remains a key strategy for mitigating risks.
Prior to making any decisions, always take your risk tolerance and investment goals into account. Thank you for joining us on this insightful exploration of NVIDIA's investment potential. We hope this analysis has provided valuable perspectives and reaffirmed your confidence in this tech titan's future. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, please give us a thumbs up. Your support helps us create more content to guide you on your investment journey. Don't forget to share this video with fellow investors who might benefit from this information.